So folks, today we're at Leisure Terrace Condos, you know, and we're gonna talk about why these intercoastal condo communities are so popular. And you know what, folks? Yep, we're actually out of the office today. We're actually going around because we really wanted to give you guys kind of a view, kind of, an, you know, just an impression of, you know, of what it's like to basically be, you know, to live in one of these intercoastal condo communities. So as you can see, the water taxi goes by. You have an incredible view of the waterfront. Yes, and right across the street, there's, uh, or I should say, right across the waterway, as you can see, there are many condos. And over here, they've got a nice little dock area. So stay tuned, we've got a lot to show you. So, you know, obviously the first question is what makes these waterfront condo communities so popular? And obviously it's the waterfront. So basically, but if you take a look around, you can see why there's folks out here that are kayaking. Um, there's boats going up and down the, uh, the intercoastal basically all the time. Folks, the residents, they get, they get stunning views. Um, in this particular case, since we're facing west, you're going to get an incredible sunset view um, of the water, of the boats, the sun setting, marine life. It really kind of creates a, a really nice and tranquil and peaceful setting for folks. The other thing is, is that, you know, there are a lot of folks that come down, you know, Fort Lauderdale is the boating capital of the Southeast. And folks come down here for purposes of boating. And basically, you can, if you look around, you can see there's boats all over the place, okay? And this, the intercoastal with this access to the canals, and the access going out to the ocean, the drawbridges up here, you can see there's all kinds of wonderful things that can be done as far as living and enjoying that boating lifestyle. Here we are. Right here, look at all the condos that we have here. Nice little tiki hut type, Bode oh I should say bodega, right here near the pool. Great way to relax. Got some shade here. Great place just to have a dinner. Okay, let's talk about some of the annual events that they have along the intercoastal waterway. Number one, you've got the Winterfest Boat Parade. It's one of the most popular events in Fort Lauderdale. It takes place usually in December, and the Boat Parade features uh, beautifully decorated uh, boats sailing along the intercoastal. It's creating a great atmosphere, and if you have a condo or a home on the intercoastal, this is something that you'll definitely want to see. Which leads us to number two. You've got the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. It's one of the largest boat shows in the world. It usually takes place in November. The show features, you know, a, a wide variety of uh, boats, yachts, and a lot of marine products. Again, it is uh, something that you need to see. Uh, number three, this brings us to the Las Olas Art Fair. This usually takes, the art fair usually takes place in January, March, and October, and it's along Las Olas Boulevard which is located near the intercoastal, and the fair has various arts, vendors, they sell their artworks and crafts. In addition, uh, Dini Beach Arts and Seafood Festival, uh, this takes place in April in Dini Beach, and it's located, again, near the intercoastal, and the festivities, you've got various seafood vendors, artists, uh, you have live music performances, there are many parks uh, near or located on the intercoastal. One of my favorite is DeGraft Park. That's up in Deerfield Beach. And then over near Hillsborough uh, Point and Pompano and Lighthouse Point, you got Royal Rogers Park. And there's condos there. There's a lot to do. So living in the intercoastal, many activities. As you can see, got a nice grill area right here with a table and an umbrella right here at the dock. You've got the grill. What a great view. And this is uh, how it enhances your uh, lifestyle living right here on the intercoastal. Here's that hose that you can hose your boat off with. Nice place to uh, have a little barbecue or a cookout with your friends and neighbors. And trust me, you'll have plenty of neighbors and friends here to enjoy. So, you know, in addition, I mean, you have privacy and security. Most of these are gated communities. 
maintenance security that's basically around the clock. So you can feel nice, safe, and secure. You know, and you can see basically who's going to be approaching from the, from the water. The, the other thing too is the proximity to the ocean beaches too. We're here but a few blocks away from you know from, from A1A and from the ocean beaches. So you know, so again, it's more than just a place to live. Okay? The intercoastal condo communities they they, they create a, a whole lifestyle, you know, a different environment for folks. You have you have the you know, the boats going up and down, you have this, this serene, you know, calm water coming through, you have all the beautiful scenery going on, you have folks that are coming down to enjoy themselves. It's terrific. So folks, you know, we talk about this on, on a number of our videos. We've talked about it plenty of times. We've actually done it plenty of times. You can see, for example, the water taxi. Now, I mean, not, not that I'm necessarily plugging the water taxi per se, but this is a fantastic way for you to get visibility into condominium complexes here on the intercoastal. The water taxi goes all the way up and down the intercoastal waterway, all the way from Hollywood to the south, going up almost going up to Deerfield Beach, almost to Boca in the north. So you, you'll get a bird's eye view, you get a water view of a lot of the properties that are available. In fact, that's how we find some of these gems folks that we make a lot of city. That's a beautiful looking building. And when there's any properties for sale, we go back out to our clients that are looking for, for waterfront properties and say, hey, you know, what do you think about intercoastal? And oh, by the way, we've got a couple of properties you may be interested in. So it's, a, it's an ideal way to basically get visibility from, not, not, in, in addition from the street view, you get the water view. So, you know, one of the first questions we get asked when you're viewing uh, properties like this, you know, are they affordable? Okay. And, and the, the answer is unequivocally yes. I mean, a lot of times what you'll find is you'll find some of these beautiful these little hidden gems, if you will. You'll find them in areas that have not yet gone through the regentrification or the upgrade process, and they're they're kind of in the in the pre-planning stages of it. Getting in here when you find one that's basically you know in an area, the building itself is very well maintained. The units are beautiful. They're spacious. Okay. But finding ones that, that are that are a little bit off the beaten path are going to put you into a, a into a fantastic opportunity. Go ahead and find something that is, that is beautiful, it's affordable, okay, it's only going to appreciate the value even more. One of the other things that, that's kind of a, a little neat, something neat that we think that we found out is that, you know, a lot of these places, because the, you know, the obvious attraction, okay, is the intercoastal. So they're, they're kind of, they're a little further away from some of the other amenities. They're a couple of blocks away from the beaches in many, many cases. So you're close to the beach, you're walking distance, but you're not going to pay that ocean front price with this for, uh, for properties down here. Right now we're about two blocks from the beach. Uh, that's basically, it's a portion of Fort Lauderdale Beach, it's what is known as Gulf, as Gulf Mile, okay, but it's an extension of, it's the, the beach area that comes between Fort Lauderdale to the south and Pompano Beach to the north. So you're, you're, you know, you're but two blocks from the beach, but you're at a price point that's significantly less than that, both from the standpoint of the price of the property and from the standpoint of the monthly costs that, that go on. Okay, we're not too far from uh, Lauderdale by the Sea. No, we're not too, too far off from Lauderdale by the Sea. Basically, we're about a mile and a half down the road from Lauderdale by the Sea. We're about a mile, two miles north. But yeah, so we're, this is an ideal location for a lot of folks. And here you can see there are, there are plenty of condominiums on both sides of the intercoastal here, as, long, as well as a number of beautiful single family homes here. One of the things that I cannot overstate this, one of the things that is going to be critical to helping you find you know, some of these hidden gems is going to be working with you know, with neighborhood experts like myself and my team. We know what's going on. We know what's happening. We know where the construction is happening. We know what buildings are under renovation. We can work with you to find those those little gems that you're looking for that are basically, you know, from, that many folks, if you look out on stuff like Zillow and Realtor.com, look at some of the websites, you're not going to see that because a lot of the information is older information and it's incomplete information. So there's, there are, so to answer the question, yes, there are unequivocally, there are some definite bargains to be found, to be held down 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 in Fort in the Fort Lauderdale area, especially in the intercoastal. So just reach out, let us know if you have any questions. We'll be happy to drop a note in the box below. We'll be happy to answer any questions you guys may have. So you know so folks, a lot of times a lot of folks ask you know in addition to you know how do we find these little hidden gems, you know, what amenities these little beauties come with. So you know in many cases the amenities are very comparable to other kind of other you know higher end uh, luxury type of condominium complexes. You know, they have the pools and they have the clubhouses and they have gyms and spa facilities and whatnot. But one of the key things that they have right here, okay, is if you have a you have a you have dock space where you can bring your boat down, you can dock up, you can moor your boat up. So as you can see further up, you can see where a number of boats have actually moored up here. Okay. They also in some cases you'll find where they have a little marina type area. Now this doesn't really qualify as a marina here, it qualifies as pretty much the canal that supports 
you know, all of the all the properties around here, including uh, restaurants across the across the canal. But you know, the, the amenities that you that you find out here, uh, they they're, they're they're very much conducive again, you know, with a with a whole type waterfront, you know, boating type lifestyle down here that, that this area has become synonymous with. Well, in fact, Kevin, you and I uh, went to boat campers, which is what maybe 300 yards north. 300 yards, and we were able to walk from here. We also have shooters which is very uh, close and they've got a lot of amenities and restaurants here. That's very, very true. And, and we talked about it a little bit about before, you know, but this, the thing about it is, is that, you know, these are, you know, because of the proximity to the water, because of the, where they're at, they, they are very, very secure. Many of them have 24 hour security, many of them are dating communities. You know, so it's very, it's a very, very secure area to be in. To be in. And also because, you know, hey, people can bring a boat up here and you want to know who's, who's basically docking at your dock, what's going on now. Now, not all of these units come with, uh, with, with baggage included. In some cases, the management company or the association is responsible for, you know, for determining who gets what dock space. In other cases, it's basically, you know, it's, it's partialed out to a third party company that's managing the dock, the dock space for them. Right, and you'll, you'll be able to find some of those uh, unique properties sometimes that have it deeded. You're absolutely right, Susie. You, you know, we, we come across a couple for some of our clients that actually have the dock space deeded into the actual unit itself. So you know, just, these are some, some things that you want to you want to ask about, and some things that we'll definitely make sure that you know about You know, when, you, when you're looking for, especially if you're looking for the boating community down, down in this area, Fort Lauderdale area. Exactly, so if you're looking for one of those gems, reach out to us and we'll see what we can do to help you find that. Okay, so folks, you can see, you know, there's obviously, there's a, there are plenty of condominiums around here. You have the you have the, you know, the bar room. So, but you know, folks, one of the things that, put, that people are, are really kind of curious about is, is what are the boating options around here? And I mean, it, it's, you know, you're, we're in close proximity to basically the Venice of the, uh, of, of the U.S., Fort Lauderdale, with the 300 plus miles of canals and whatnot. But folks, you know, around here you have the uh, the docks that are that are part of the condos themselves, part of the right up to the condos. You have many, many, many marinas around here that folks can use for, for either short-term or long-term storage or moorage for their boat. You have you have the canals themselves that basically you know, have I ideal areas for storage and for docking. There's a lot of different options that you have you know, to, be able to, be, to really become part of this boating community. So folks, I'm going to go ahead and apologize. It's hot out here and it's getting a little warm for me. But um, you know, it's it's just one of these things where this community down here. Look, I mean, look at look at the Monticello. It's beautiful. The front here, the Monticello, is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, you got the Marlin over here. Some of the larger ones that are getting get like, close to the Sea Towers, which has been around for quite some time. Very, very, very popular community in, up in the Sea Tower. You know, so it's just all kinds of. It's such a, a nice, quiet, peaceful, serene lifestyle here. You know, on the intercoastal with these intercoastal condo communities. Yeah, and if you're big into fishing. Exactly, and, and you know, as Suzanne just pointed out, if you're big into fishing, I mean, so many of these canals, they can handle you know, the big fishing boats that come and drop you off and pick you up when you want to go out to fishing. You know, there's a drawbridge right up the street that takes to take you right out into the Hillsborough Inlet and ultimately out to the Atlantic Ocean. But as we point out, we're only a couple of miles from, from, the, uh, from, the, from the ocean itself. That's how folks, you know, aren't these views, uh, these interviews, aren't they something else? You know, um, hopefully this has given you some insight as to what's available here you know, down in the Fort Lauderdale area, these intercoastal condominium communities. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out. Let us know. Hope you, we hope you found the, our video interesting. Again, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call. Choose a little text, a little email, or click on the calendar link down below. Go ahead and set up a time where you can chit chat for 40 to 45 minutes. Answer any questions you may have. Give some additional insight to what you may be looking for. And again, you know, thanks for joining us today.